Hey champions, today I'm going to do a little story time. They, didn't call, they don't call me Miss All That for nothing. Oop, I was Miss All That back in the day. Back in the day, I was running with the big dogs. We got to wine and dine. I have my leftovers from yesterday. I made me some, some black beans and black rice. Black rice is in here somewhere. Black beans and black rice, so good. There's this um, place, taco stand, a taco shop on Pico in LA. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but their black beans are so good. They, they um, load it up with uh, garlic and I love garlic. I just gave Bubba a bath. So I have my black beans and black rice, some cornbread, some corn, some avocado, and this is some cilantro. And yeah. So I was over at uh Brianna Simone's Pettyville live yesterday. Woo wee, that was a hell of a live, okay. They had El Teddy and somebody else, but anyways, it ended real funky. Some girl named Kiera Kiki. I remember seeing her in the chat too. She used to speak to me, but um, it's a whole hot mess going on with her right now. But I'm here to talk about, because they have brought up, yesterday, they have brought up um, Snoop, right? And so I just mentioned, yeah, I, <laughs> back in the day, baby, back in the day, one second. Back in the day, I used to know this guy who was Snoop's driver. He was Snoop's driver, right? And so we used to live like right in the same neighborhood. It's a neighborhood called uh, Westchester in LA. Nice little neighborhood. So and he had two boys. He's from Ohio. And um, anyway, he was Snoop's driver. So he had invited me, he was like, cause I was doing a whole lot of stuff back then, right? So he had, he invited me to, uh, um, to one of Snoop's concerts in Arizona. So yeah, me and my cousin, <clears throat> we got in our car, drove to Arizona. Mmm. Something about that cilantro just makes it this yum yum. So we got in the car, go to Arizona, got to the hotel, got our little passes, went to the concert, and my little cousin, she ended up hooking up with um, Nate Dog. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nate Dog. Cheers, Renee Dog. So she hooked up with Nate Dog. I stayed in my room. We get back to LA. Um, Snoop wanted to know who the hell I was, right? So they were going, they were. I used to go to Atlanta all the time. I, I called it Fat Atlanta. That's back in the Freak Nick days, right? So I would go to Atlanta all the time. So I was kind of familiar with the South. I've been to Little Rock. Um, anyway. This is when Snoop was in sign. But he had the dog crown. So they were touring the South. They had a little tour bus. 
And so we would follow the tour bus around. Me and my friend named Nicky was following the tour bus around. And I was shopping for, for Snoop. He didn't like to wear shorts because his legs are so skinny. Anywho, we were in some town. I think it was, I don't know where, it was somewhere. And so, the, so we went to the concert, uh, Too Short. Too Short was there. His son was a little bitty boy back then. And so after the concert, we had the, we had the, I, I got my own room. I got me a suite. They was downstairs in their little regular room, right? So Snoop was like, come on up, or come on down to his room. After the concert, we was partying and stuff, right? So I get down, I get down to the room. And I started telling him, he started saying how he gonna smoke me out. I'm like, oh no, you ain't gonna smoke me out. I'm gonna smoke you out. You better, you better ask somebody, right? And so I called my, um, my God brother, which he had, he knew, I think he knew him. I don't know, I think he knew him. Anyways, we in there smoking, smoking, smoking. He smoked me out. No, I couldn't hang. <laughs> I passed out uh, across his bed. And there was a lot of commotion, I remember. They ended up beating up the promoter because they didn't get paid. They beat up the promoter. This is, y'all, I, I don't have no receipts, but anybody in the dog pound, they know what I'm talking about. They beat up the promoter, took his watch, took his chains. They were real hungry and thirsty back then. So, like I said, I, he smoked me out. I went in his room, I laid across the bed. He came in there and I was laying, you know, the head, the headboard here, I was laying this way. He was laying like this way, like facing the door. And so his homeboys was walking through. Forget that little mother sucker's name. Anyway, he's still, he's around. So I had my, back then I had the, you know, I had the latest and the greatest everything, the cell phone, whoop, walk the whoop, right? So I had my cell phone on the floor and I was facing Snoop and he was laying across this way. So my back was to the door. I didn't see what was going on. My cell phone was behind me. Old boy stole my cell phone, okay? Stole my motherfucking cell phone. And I didn't realize it at the time. And when I say I slept with Snoop, that's all we did. We slept. We ain't do shit. We was just in there talking. He, he liked to cuddle. We was just in there talking and stuff. And he was telling me how he was getting ready to get married. I was like, what the fuck you got me here for? You getting ready to get married, right? When he said that, I knew I wasn't going to do nothing. So we ended up talking, talking, talking. I fell asleep. Woke up um, early in the morning. Discovered my cell phone wasn't there. They was all packing up, getting getting on a tour bus, right? And so I I I got dressed, left, went to the mall. Got me another fucking cell phone. The next top of the line cell phone at the time. Came back, got on the bus. I said, whoever the fuck got my motherfucking phone, it ain't gonna work because I, I turned that bitch off. And you ain't, and I reported it stolen. So you ain't gonna, back then you couldn't just take a phone and get it activated. You, it, they was all kind of links and stuff. And you couldn't just get a phone and have it activated. I said, so it's no good to you. It's no use to you, right? 
So we went, we ended up going to, we was in one town and then we ended up going to another town, right? And that's why I had met, I forget her name, but I ended up working with her 20 years later. She ended up doing the, um, doing the vocals for um, this other guy I was assisting. So, long story short, yes, I slept with Snoop. We ain't had sex. We just cuddled and went to sleep. He got married the next week. And I used to work uh, for the airline, so in LA, at LAX. So I would see him all the time coming through the airport. You know, we take some pictures and chop it up. He was always talking about, come on, call me this now. I'm not that calling you for what? You married. And I had went to their house one time, right? It was nasty. Dog shit everywhere. Big, beautiful mansion. You walk in, it's stunk. His wife was not a good housekeeper. Was always full of niggas. <clears throat> so that's my Snoop story. <laughs> Stay tuned because I have a whole bunch of stories. I'm going to call this uh segment something like miss all that when when miss all that meets a celebrity something 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 I don't know but I I met and rubbed elbows with the best of them with the best of them so <laughs> That's my Snoop Dogg story, y'all. We still cool. I wanted him to do a, um, I was working in the marina and I had met this guy who was putting, it, putting together a, a, a cooking show. And I said, uh, he said, do I know anybody? I was like, yeah, Snoop cook, cause he, he can cook. And um, I, he said, well, I'm gonna make you a producer if you get him on the show. Uh, excuse me, mukbang, mukbang. So, I got some um, cranberry cocktail, 7-Up, uh, lemonade, and orange juice. I have mixed them all together. So, when I got in touch with his manager, he was like, it's a conflict of interest because he's already doing a show with, um, what's her name? Martha Stewart cooking show. Oh, well, okay. All right, so that's my Snoop Dogg story. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned because I got a bunch of stories. They don't call me Miss All That for nothing. You guys create a great rest of your day. Godspeed champions. Thanks for tuning in and for all my new subscribers, thank you for that. Thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. And all my other all my pre my um subscribers already. I really, really love you guys. And um yeah, you guys create a great day. <laughs>